And up first at 11, a suspected plot targeting a local school is foiled and police suspect a student was behind it all. Tonight, sources tell ABC 7 that fast action prevented another attack paralleling the one that killed 20 students in Connecticut. Now, it is important to note tonight that our sources tell us detectives do not believe this is a copycat type plot. However, police say the student attended Laurel High School and our Jay Corf is live there now with the specifics uncovered by investigators. Jay. Well, Allison, authorities do believe that this was a credible threat, in part because of items they say they found in the student's locker. Police say Monday, Laurel High School students were so concerned about disruptive behavior coming from a classmate that they told a teacher who, in turn, reached out to authorities. They believe that he was uh, going to do some harm to others, probably, uh, possibly shoot, kill. You know, some of those references were made in some of the uh, materials that they found. Fortunately, it was prevented and uh, no harm, no injury. Police say they found suspicious items in the juvenile's locker, like drawings and lists. They found these uh, some materials and uh, some diagrams, charts, lists, things that they found in his locker. Uh, then the fact that they uh, had access uh, potentially to weapons, um, you know, believed to uh, be a pretty harmful situation. Authorities say the student has since been hospitalized and is undergoing an emergency mental evaluation. It's very upsetting after the events in Connecticut, um, you know, it's really not uh, to be taken lightly. And parent Andrea Reynolds, in light of the unspeakable violence at a Connecticut elementary school, is grateful that students came forward. I'm very proud that the students stepped up and uh, alerted the authorities and uh, let the teachers know what was going on. A Prince George's County Schools spokesperson tells me tonight that the system is taking this situation very seriously, working closely with authorities on this case, and tomorrow they are going to send home a letter with the uh, students to parents to describe exactly what they believe happened here. Live in Laurel, Jay Korf, ABC 7 News. Thank you, Jay.